a Roland Versa UV LEC 330. It's a CMYK printer with white and gloss attributes. It enables the packaging industry to do prototypes, samples, proofs, all on one device and gives a final result very close to the final product. The Roland has a 30 inch print cap. It can print substrates down to 7.2 inches. That's pretty small. Uh, it will print on any media that you want to put into it. It will print on leather, paper, white film, clear film, metallic, um, metal. We normally load our media from the back side. Today we're going to use holographic sheet stock and I'm going to load that right now. It loads from the front. We square up our material. We set our pinch rollers. And then I roll the pinch roller over to the edge of the stock. That is where it, what is securing the stock itself. Now I'm going to secure the stock so that it does not move by flipping this switch, lowering my panel. Well, this is the file that we're going to print. So it's a CMYK white and gloss file. We are also going to crease and cut it all in the same machine. I'm opening the Roland VersaWorks RIP software. We've sent a file over. The first thing we're going to do is use the crease part of that file. I'm going to right click and print. Okay, we've sent a file over. It's a folding carton file, so it's going to crease, print, and then cut. We are going to use this tool to do the creasing. Okay, we are going to replace the cutting tool with our creasing tool. It indicates that we should do so there. It tells you when. Just hit enter and it sets it up. It tells you to open the cover. Our carriage is right here. You can see the die, the cutting unit right here. You just pull off the knife and replace it with the crease. I close the door, come back to my keypad and press enter. Now that the creasing is finished, we go back to our cutting tool. I'm finished running the creasing file now, so I've come back to VersaWorks. I'm going to print the white CMYK file, I'm going to print the gloss file, and then I'm going to print the cutting file. It's going to happen all at once. I do not have to come back and do them again, and then I'm hands-free for the re remainder of the project. As you can see, it's printing now. It prints the white down first, CMYK on top of that, and it'll print the gloss on top of that. The file is finished printing now, so I'm going to take it out of the printer. I'll open up the printer, release the stock, and simply pull it out of the machine. It's as simple as that. You can see that it's done a fabulous job with printing, creasing, embossing, and cutting. It pops out relatively easy. I'm folding along the crease lines. So here it is, our completed project.